Hey, what's up? This is Marcus from Machine City Audio. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to route XO from XLN Audio to separate outputs. So you can either record to separate outputs so you can make sure each sample has its own track or so you can put them on your MK3 to separate pads just in case you want to do some finger drumming. I'm going to show you how to do that. When you have XO loaded up, you want to go to the edit window. Now from there, you want to go to where it says the playback section and you'll see that each one of these have an M bomb and that means master output. So you want to click that M, go to output, bless one. Now each one of these are routed to their own separate track. All right, so we're gonna close out of here. And then what you wanna do is just move this down to a pad you're not using. I'll move it all the way down to there. Now the next few steps that we're gonna be going over are going to be from the MK3. Now you can follow along with inside of Native Instruments and um, do it from there as well. But to me, it's way faster and easier if you just do it from the MK3. All right, so let's get into that. So you wanna hit the first pad to make sure you're on sound one. Now from there, you wanna hit the channel MIDI button. So you hit that and move this over to input. Now from the input, you wanna go down to where it says, you wanna hit the first knob, this is the audio knob, and you wanna change the source. You wanna change it to XO2. So now we have that. You wanna switch over to the output. Now, as you can see, if you come down to the audio, we don't want it to be the audio section. We want to get it to MIDI. Now to get it to MIDI, you want to come to these two arrows. You want to hit it again. And then now you see MIDI. You want to change the destination to XO. So now we have that. All right. And now you want to come to transpose and you want to take that down to where it says 24. So now we head out to 24. You hit the pad. Now we have our kick drum, All right? So let's go to the next one. So go back to input, hit pad two. Now this time we want to go to XO3. Same thing, go over to output. It's already on MIDI, so you don't have to worry about changing that. And then go to XO. Now with the transpose this time, you want to go to negative 23. So we want to do that. Now it's 23. So now that's a deeper kick. So now we have our two kicks there. All right, so let's go to pad three. So now pad three, go back to input. Then you wanna to go to XO4. So we have XO4, same thing. Go to XO, transpose is going to be 22. So now we have, you know, a snare. All right, so next, let's go to the next one. We'll just do probably a couple more after this because you sort of get, you know, where I'm headed with this. All right, so see where that says two, that says three, that says four. So now we're going to be on five. So XO five, output. XO. Now you can layer these any way you want. If you want to, you know, kicks to be here, if you want to put your hi hats wherever, you can do it however you want. I'm just doing this to show you how you can do it. So now we want to transpose this to 21. And now everything could be routed to separate pads. So basically, you just follow this for every pad you want to put drums on. And there you have it, it's pretty simple. That's all you gotta do to be able to set your drums to separate outputs within your MK3 and to be able to record them. 